so you have seen the option called revolve base and in revolve base you have seen how this pulley was made how the donut was made and how the tube was made and the sectional uh, sectional tube in 90 degrees was made so this if it was made in revolved base option now we'll show you the feature called revolve cut with the same part okay so for this I will go to front plane left click and make normal to left click once it becomes normal what I will be doing is go to sketch left click and draw a rectangle look here this orange spot the or a dot is called the center of the part or the center of this line again this also becomes a center from this center in line with this center I'll be drawing a rectangle this rectangle okay a random rectangle make it okay after making okay go to features and very quickly go to revolve cut look what happens in isometric view now this is going to revolve it is going to cut the part in the revolve fashion but through which axis through this axis once you select this it will show the preview and zoom it and then I'll make it okay this okay or this okay anyone will work okay now see how the part has been revolved so it is being cut now once it is cut if you want to make any changes very quickly make it normal and then again right click mm, go to edit feature once you go to edit feature what you can see is it is being revolved to this axis and this is 360 degrees the revolve cut is 360 degrees I don't want 360 I want it 180 make it ok now look now look this has been revolved in 180 degrees can you see this <coughs> yes this is the revolved cut now again with some different part so the different part is like we'll take this part now what happens with this part if I want to make a revolved cut for the option revolved cut initially I need to draw a center line so let's go to sketch and uh, after going to sketch first edit the sketch right click edit the sketch or uh, this is is we already have the f line f through which it is revolved we can see this line but when we come back when we come back what happens we cannot see that center line which was in sketch so for this we need to draw some kind of temporary axis so how to draw the temporary axis right click and uh, uh, let's first make a sketch over here this becomes a center so from this this is the center working can you see the center working no this, this center is not working this center is not working this is not to the center so make it back and again I will draw something which is the sketch and again I cannot find anything so I need to select this face with left click once I select this with left click what I will get is this dot again this dot is not on the center so this dot was the center of the circle which was already made so I don't want this I don't want this make it back okay and then I will delete both these sketches delete yes again show some kind of warning make it close again I want to delete this sketch so select this one with the left click and delete yes with the help of keyboard so here you need to understand why the circles were not concentric with the already made pipe for this you need to select 
<coughs> the front plane make it left click once you select the front plane what you can see is come very close here okay select this circle once you select the circle yes now you can see the dead center of the circle this dead center make again a circle from taking this as center point okay leave it here and make it okay once you make it okay what you can see is there's a circle on this pipe now it's the time to make some kind of temporary axis how you're going to make the temporary axis let's see so now what how to use the temporary axis is through the view and then you need to just view the left click temporary axis yes once you do the temporary axis left click now you can see the axis which was not seen earlier in 3d sketch so now again go to features and then revolt cut when you go to revolt cut you need to revolt through this temporary axis here so there is a reason why we made this temporary axis make it left click and see here again you can flip the direction look the arrow the direction changes so where you want to make the extruded cut outside or inside we'll make it inside and we'll make it okay yes now the pipe is hollow but here you need to observe to make a pipe hollow you have used two different options which is the revolve and the second is cut revolve left click rather than using these two options what you can do is a simple method make it front plane left click make it normal uh, unzoom it a little bit and go to sketch and make left click a circle take a circle from this origin as a line make one circle a bigger circle and make one more circle a smaller circle okay and then make it okay and then make it back okay now go to features and then after going to features what you need to do is you need to go to revolve what you need to revolve is you need to click here and you need to click here two clicks are you able to revolve let's see whether you're able to revolve no why because not select the center axis this becomes the center axis again in 360 degrees but I don't want 360 I want it 90 and then okay look so rather than op using two options for making the pipe you can use a single option called the revolve <coughs> just a revolve with two circles look so this is much more easy rather than going for this but let's say if this was not hollow then what it could be go to right click add a sketch in this sketch I don't want this this I don't want this so now delete with the help of keyboard delete yes and then back now what happens this becomes solid and uh, I want to make some few more changes in this is then what I need to do is left click and then left click on the particular feature and then edit sketch or edit feature well you can do many things but for now uh, th yes I, I think I think I need to do don't select this just directly go to sketch directly very directly but before going to sketch make it front plane yes this is very important or else we lose uh, making things make it front plane and then go to sketch this is the line here I will make it will zoom it a little bit and according to my position according to my comfort I'll make some lines over here look I'm making few lines 
few lines here like this and then I will complete the sketch once the sketch has been completed I'll make it OK insert line OK this is made once this is OK again I will go to features revolve cut I want to revolve this to this center axis so select your left click now see the magic see the magic here we can rotate the direction but I want it inside make it ok once you make it ok look look what you made look the kind of part you have made this is the kind of part you have made and now uh, a little bit a little more changes can be made to this part through this thing this was the option revolve so make it edit feature and I don't want it 90 I want 360 this time okay now make it okay and see look what kind of structure is being made can you find a kind of a bellow this is a kind of bellow which is being made in front as you can see uh, this is a kind of rubber part which be, is being used as a gasket or mm, uh, in many many mechanical machines so such type of parts can be made you just need to understand what kind of features you need to use okay so this ends our session of revolt cut thank you